Hi, thanks for visiting Phil Sharp Homes. My name is Phil Sharp and the purpose of this video is to demonstrate to you the processes and procedures that we have put in place to make your home buying experience and relocation as timely and efficient as possible. Uh, during my military career, I PCS 10 or 11 times, uh, worked with lots of different realtors, some good, some not so good. And uh, in creating my business, I've tried obviously to incorporate the good things and use the lessons learned from the bad things uh, and hopefully not incorporate them into the business. Uh, one of the key elements to this, I think, is education. And as you look around the website, I think you'll see I'm a big believer in education. If you go to the buyer's toolbox here on the website, you'll find volumes and volumes of information about buying a home, about the local communities and the local real estate market. Um, and also, if you go to my blog, the Lewis McCord Real Estate Guide, uh, there's quite a bit of information there about JBLM, about the local communities, about commuting, schools, employment, so on and so forth. So we really do offer an awful lot of educational material. I encourage you to take advantage of it. Um, I find that, that uh, if you are well informed and well educated on the process that it, uh, it tends to make my job easier. Uh, we all have much more realist realistic expectations and uh, things just tend to work better. Um, so please take advantage of all the educational material that we have here. Um, and I realize through this video and through printed material there's always questions that come up. Uh, if you have any questions, please email me. I'd be happy to answer them. And, and that's actually how I get a lot of my frequently asked question material to put on the website. So don't hesitate. Uh, I love answering questions. Um, the second thing that we do that's, and this is kind of unique to, uh, to my business and the fact that I cater almost exclusively to service members, um, is that I have a person on staff whose job title is relocation sponsor. Uh, our relocation sponsor, uh, her name is Gina McCune. Um, she's a longtime local resident. Uh, she has three young children who go to school here locally. Uh, she knows a lot about the community. She knows a lot about commuting. Um, she does a lot of work regarding schools and employment uh, and communities. Um, she's even been known to go out and visit schools for people uh, and do things like that. So Gina is a great resource, especially if you've never been here before. Um, again, she is not a realtor. She holds no licenses or anything like that. She doesn't sell anything. Um, she's strictly available as a, an informational resource uh, and eyes on the ground for you. Um, another thing that Gina does is provide relocation packets. Um, and you can request a relocation packet by U.S. Mail uh, on the home page of the website or through Gina's page on the website which is in the relocation department. Um, and those packets contain material provided by JBLM uh, as well as the uh, Thurston and Pierce counties which are the counties that surround Joint Base Lewis McCord. Uh, the state of Washington uh, provides some information that goes into the packets as well as the local cities and communities from Tacoma in the north down to Olympia and Tumwater in the south. So a lot of great information in that relocation packet. Um, I encourage you to request one. Uh, they are free and we send them out by U.S. mail. Um, the next thing we do, and this is another thing that's a little bit unique to our business because we cater so much to re people relocating to the area, um, is that my personal assistant uh, does a lot of listing research. Um, we have available on the website the automated uh, listing generators. You can go in and say, I want three beds, two baths, two guard garage, and it will send you lots of email of every listing that roughly or loosely fits those criteria. We've pretty much quit using it because it generates so much spam, and I thought it would be very effective to have a person manually searching uh, here in the office. So Stephanie does that four to six hours a day. Um, we send out a brief questionnaire. You fill out the questionnaire. Uh, Stephanie will start searching the MLS and emailing you listings. And when she emails them, she also creates an online portal and uh, puts the listings into that portal. And it's a live portal. So you can see if there are price changes, if the seller has raised or lowered the price, 
Um, you can see if a property is sold, you can see if it comes back on the market. Um, so a great resource and, and it also provides you with the ability to give us feedback and that's critical. The more feedback that Stephanie gets, the better a job she can do in looking for listings. And we try to start this process three to four months before you get here. Um, it, it works phenomenally well uh, through your feedback. Stephanie really, really zeroes in on what it is that you're looking for. And the goal that we successfully and, and almost always meet is that by the time you get here, We've got all the listings that fit your criteria that are potential or possibilities for you uh, prepared. We have a plan and when you get here house hunting, we go out and we look at those listings. Sometimes it's 10 or 15, sometimes it's 40 or 50. Um, but it's a really great process. Uh, I encourage you to take advantage of it. Um, it. This is one of those educational things where going through that, you'll really learn the market, you'll learn what's out there, you'll learn about prices. Um, and then when you get here house hunting, it just makes things a whole lot more efficient. Um, what kind of goes hand in hand with that is financing and pre-qualification. Uh, obviously, one of the, the criteria that Stephanie has to work with is price. Um, she also has to work with condition and that sort of thing. And the reason I mention that is most of my clients are, uh, use VA guaranteed mortgages. Um, and the VA does not make loans, they guarantee loans that are made by typical lenders. Um, however, if you are looking for a fixer or uh, a property that you can build some sweat equity in, oftentimes a VA loan won't work. Uh, the VA typically won't lend on a property that needs a lot of work based on experiences with the economic downturn. Three, four years ago, they would, uh, a home buyer would buy a house, they wouldn't do the work. The house would get foreclosed, they'd get stuck with it. Uh, so they have empowered their appraisers to go out and actually make the determination as to whether or not they will lend on the property based on its condition or state of repair. So talking to a lender uh, in advance is not just a good idea because you want to get pre-qualified and find out how much you can spend, um, but you may want to find out if there is another loan program that would work better for you if you're wanting to buy uh, a fixer type of property or something like that. Um, the lender that I really like to use here in Olympia's name is Jan Ward. She's the, the owner of a company called Ward Lending Group. I've used her since I PCSed here 13, 14 years ago. Um, very good at what she does. Excellent reputation in the community. I've actually had uh, offers accepted because she was the lender and the seller's agent knew her and said, yep, she's, she's great. Uh, she closes when she says she's going to close, so on and so forth. Um, and then when there's multiple offers, things like that can mean the difference between getting your offer accepted or not getting it accepted. And, and the reason I mention the fact that she is a lender and not a broker is that she does the lending right out of her uh, organization. Whereas with a lot of the bigger national lenders, there are many, many hoops to jump through. The, the, the industry norm is 30 to 45 days uh, to close a loan, uh, a VA loan. Um, with Jan, it's typically three weeks uh, plus or minus. So, you know, that's another big feather in your hat as a buyer when you're making offers. Um, the local community knows that if she's your lender, you're going to close in probably half the time. Uh, as somebody who's pre-qualified with one of the big national lenders uh, or one of those other organizations. So anyway, you need to get pre-qualified for more reasons than just to figure out how much you can spend. And if you'd like a referral uh, to Jan Ward, I would be happy to provide it or I believe her information is available here on the website. Um, next thing I'd like to talk about is house hunting. And uh, the, the listings process that you went through with Stephanie that I talked about a minute ago uh, is kind of a key component of this. Um, when you come into town house hunting, like I said, we may have identified 30, 40, 50 homes for you to look at. Uh, and I typically will go out, and this is going to sound crazy, but I typically will go out and look at 12, 15, maybe 20 homes in a day um, because that's the way it's got to be. If you're living in the lodge, if you're relocating, if you're only here for a couple days TDY, that's the way we have to operate. Uh, a lot of realtors, some of those bad realtors that I mentioned in the beginning of the video, 
are used to going out and looking at two or three or four homes in a day and then they're done. They've got to go back to the office and regroup. Uh, I've had realtors do that to me in the past um, and I pretty quickly went and found another realtor uh, for obvious reasons. So anyway, I won't do that to you. I expect when you come into town house hunting to block off three to five days to go out and look at houses and I fully expect to look at a lot of houses. Um, I've got some pretty good systems in place to keep them sorted and keep them organized and, uh, and keep the favorites on the top of the pile, so to speak, uh, so that it doesn't become unmanageable. Um, but uh, a good system and, uh, and we manage it pretty effectively. So um, the, the next thing I want to talk about uh, following house hunting and of course following house hunting we hope that we've identified a home that you like. Uh, we've made an offer on it, we've negotiated with the seller and reached an agreement. The next thing that, uh, that I want to talk about is home inspections. And I think that home inspections are just absolutely critical uh, regardless of whether you're buying a new home or an existing home. Um, I know that some, uh, some agents don't feel as strongly about having an inspection done on a new home for various reasons. Uh, be happy to have that discussion with you individually if you decide to buy a new home. Uh, but home inspections are very, very important. Uh, even if you're buying a foreclosure that's as is, you get a home inspection as an insurance policy so that you know what's wrong with the home, what needs repair, uh, and what needs to be kept, what you need to keep an eye on, so to speak. So. Home inspections are critical. I work with several home inspectors in the area that, that I refer people to. Um, both very good, very knowledgeable, been in the business for 20 plus years. Uh, a typical home inspection lasts three to four hours, costs three to four hundred dollars. Um, and at the end of the day, the inspector comes back with a report that's 40 to 50 pages long that covers every detail and aspect of the home. Uh, it's my goal to get that inspection done while you're here house hunting just because it's a lot more effective if you can see what the inspector sees and he can show you around uh, it makes it interpreting his report much much easier so uh, inspections are, are pretty critical and the follow-ups to the inspection uh, are equally as critical um, once the inspection is done if it's a, uh, a private seller we would typically go back and ask the seller to make repairs or corrections as needed based on what we found in the report. Again, if you're buying a foreclosure, it's just good information to have. Um, and, and following on with that uh, is communication. Um, one of the biggest downfalls, and back to when I mentioned good and bad realtors, the bad ones always suck at communicating. Um, excuse my French, but, but that's where the failures almost always occur is in communication. And what you'll find in working with Phil Sharp Homes, uh, I will communicate with you on a weekly basis by telephone uh, at minimum uh, throughout the process. And then Stephanie uh, once a week sends out by email what's called a transaction status report uh, that keeps you informed of where we're at in the process with uh, you know, the negotiation with the inspection, with the appraisal, with, uh, and with the closing. So communications are key. We're big on communications around here. Um, and I think most people really appreciate that. Uh, the, the last couple of things I'll talk about, one is warranties. Um, I warranty every home that I sell, uh, whether it's brand new or 50 years old. I put a warranty on it through a company called Fidelity National Warranty. Um, very well respected, well known company. Uh, the warranties do get used with some frequency, probably one in ten uh, people that I work with end up having an issue come up uh, that's a warranty claim. Seems like it's usually water heaters. Uh, but anyway, this warranty company uh, covers everything from the roof to the foundation. Um, it's something that I do free of charge. It, it, lets me, it, it makes it easier for me to sleep at night and my goal is that it make it easier for you to sleep at night as well. Um, and then the closing process itself I always like to talk about a little bit uh, because the state of Washington is somewhat unique. Um, when you uh, are getting ready to close on your purchase here in Washington, your lender sends the loan documents to the escrow officer at the title company 
The escrow officer prepares the deed to the property, uh, prepares the loan documents for your signature, so on and so forth. They have you come in and sign everything. Uh, and from that point, the documents actually have to go to the county courthouse and be recorded with the county recorder. So whereas in some states uh, you receive the keys at the closing table, here in Washington you can expect uh, to, for example, if you close today or if you sign today, um, you will probably not receive the keys until tomorrow. Uh, so that's just something to, to kind of be aware of. I will reiterate that throughout the process, um, but I decided to include that in this video because it's always something that, that uh, becomes an issue. Um, I want to thank you for watching the video. The material that was presented here is available uh, in text in a Word document at our download center if you'd like to download it. Um, I have not really been following a script, so I'm sure I left a few things out. Uh, it's probably worthwhile to go there, download the, uh, the text for this video, and there's a lot of other stuff there that's, uh, that's also available for download. So thank you again for visiting. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, happy house hunting. I hope to work with you in the near future.